So there's a website that just ranked the seven biggest U.S. airlines based on how late they've been on flights during the week of Thanksgiving over the past six years or so. Can I tell you my late airline story real yeah, quick? Yeah, please do. <laughs> so flying back from D.C. last week, and I know that's early, but uh, we got to Salt Lake City and... Uh, ran to the gate you know yeah and then i'm thinking so a while went by and i'm like we should have been boarded already what the heck so then they said all right mechanical problem with the plane which you hate to hear yeah right you never want to hear that so finally they board us and i'm thinking okay and they said yes it was a problem with the first class laboratory okay first class people go to the back to go pee right that's what i'm thinking anyway what what was really going on is the laboratory was just running and running that blue water oh. just running and yeah. running and running and running and so anyways, they board us, and then uh, the guy, captain comes out and says, it's going to be 15 minutes or more. Okay, I can deal with that. Yeah, 15 minutes, not bad. Comes back out. It's going to be another 15 to 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now we're like 35, 40 minutes into sitting in your uncomfortable seat on the plane. Right, yeah. So then they go around and start handing out, you know, like snacks, and I'm thinking... Like peanuts and stuff? Yeah, and water. It's like, well, the bathroom's not working. We're sitting here. <laughs> I'm thinking no to the water, because uh-huh. then I'd have to go pee, right? Yeah, so. right. Another 15 minutes goes by, and it's just going to be a few more minutes, folks. Meanwhile, I see the guy down here trying to fix it. And I'm like, all righty. So finally, they let us off the plane. Ended up with a four-hour delay on yeah. a different plane, but a plane that had a working first-class laboratory. So just had to be patient. They did walk around and hand us free drink cards. <laughs> so, so you got like a free... Uh, I got a free beer. Like a, blue, like a free beer. Wow. I, so got they a free give you that. Bru- I got a free brewski out of the deal. But okay. it, it was about a four-hour delay, but... What do you do? You can't be... There was guys there with their laptops, like, making complaints, and complaining. Right. And I'm like, what are you going to do? Would you Do you want to be on a plane where they were worried the laboratory problem could have caused a major malfunction on the airplane? And it could have, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. things could have been running out of the drains, and <laughs> I don't know. It's Those not, blue icicles from the sky. Right, we could have been happened. dropping blue ice all over Utah. But right, yeah. uh, mm-hmm. anyway, uh, I don't know. You just have to be calm and chillax a little right. bit. Well, if you're going to be uh you're going to be flying anywhere over the holiday. Jet Blue, 15% late during the week of Thanksgiving with an average delay of 42 minutes. Are they the top? That's eight? number 1. They're mm-hmm. number 1 late. Yeah, Southwest, 15% late and average uh, delay of 40 minutes. Okay. Alaska Airlines, 15% late, average delay is about 39 minutes. Delta, uh, 15% late. Yeah. Average delay time 36 minutes. Yeah, 4 hours, but okay. Okay. Uh, American Airlines, 13% uh, late, average delay of 47 minutes. Now, these are uh, numbers from last Thanksgiving, people, so I'm not saying this is what's going on now. U.S. Airways, 12% late, average delay of about 31 minutes. And then United uh, came in last with 11% late, average delay of 46 minutes. So you're going to be stuck in that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And here's another idea. Um, when you plan your flights... You might want to make... I know no one. everyone hates sitting in the airport waiting for the next flight. Yeah. But sometimes it's better to have a little spare time. Yeah, that's true. Just in case. You know Nothing what I mean? Nothing worse than trying to run to your next... You yeah, because we were day. running to our next flight because we didn't have a long layover, and then right. it ended up being four hours. Mm-hmm. So, But luckily, they've got the airports pretty well. You know, there's food and drinks yeah. and all that good yeah, stuff. No. So just be calm. And, and, and next, they're changing some of the uh, things when you pack your bag. Yeah. If you're bringing, you know, a lot of people are carrying on now because uh, because of the uh, baggage fees, you know. That and losing your bags. Well, there is that. So make sure you put your liquids in a plastic bag that you can easily pull out. Remember, you're going to be taking clothing off. I know it's wintertime, but you're going to be taking your scarf off, your coat off, probably your shoes off. So be prepared for all of that. Don't wear a bunch of bling. You're mm-hmm. going to set off the radar metal detector yeah, that's thing. That's true. Um, what else can I tell people about that? There's just a few things that you got to be careful of. I mean, if you have weird, yeah, you can't bring certain things in your luggage. It says it all when you check in or right. when you go up to the desk. Mm-hmm. So don't be surprised. All right. Well, there so. you have it. Uh, safe travels if you're going to be uh, not only on the roadways, but uh, in the air too as well.